Hey guys. So I want to start off with the exercise that we do in drama class. So everyone, just you know, shake your hands, relax. Get in a comfy position, and close your eyes. Now, once you've all closed your eyes, I want you guys to visualize. Imagine a character you want to be. It can literally be anything. It can be a wizard, a spy, a superhero, a supervillain, or even an animal. So just think of a character in your mind. Once you've got that character, let's take another step deeper. We want to explore the deeper layers of that character. What are your character's personalities? Does he or she have a family? What's his goal? What's his motive? What's the story of this character? Once you've established the brief context for a character, I want you guys to take this very important step. Imagine yourself, separate yourself from this character. Put the character in a box. Close the box. Put the box in a vault. Lock the vault, and put a key somewhere safe in your pocket. Now, there's one last rule, one last instruction I need you guys to follow. Never open the box or never open the vault outside of this room. You guys can open your eyes now. <laughs> now, this very peculiar exercise is something that we've all done or still continue to do in our daily lives. You see, humans have this tendency to imitate, to imagine different characters. They have the tendency to explore for different stories, different narratives, a sense of adventure. And I feel like this is one of the main aspects, the more core aspects of human nature. For instance, when we were young, we've all played the games cops and robbers, which in fact is a role-play game where we put, in our, put ourselves in a position of robbers and cops, or even as simple as imagining oneself as the main character of a movie or a favorite book. Like this, people continue to imitate and imagine themselves in different circumstances. However, in contrast to these rich imaginations, it seems that a lot of today's society is shaping us to conform to social trends and social norms. Especially with technology and social media connecting all of us around the world, although we are connected, we're yet very conforming to a very monocular society. So in a way, society is destroying one of the most beautiful aspects of life: creativity and diversity. When my sister was in third grade, she just finished watching the movie *The Little Mermaid*, and she comes up to me with this huge grin on her face and tells me that she wanted to become a mermaid. And of course, that's not going to happen. <laughs> the thing is, what was unique about her version of this mermaid was that this her version of the mermaid had special powers. Special characteristics. It had glittering fins, and it, had, it was more unique than the、um, mermaids we see in Disney movies. So what I realized was, in these imaginations and these characters that you've got, you guys created a few minutes ago, there's always that sense of originality that comes from yourself. Whether it's your emotion, your personality, your goals, your motives, somewhere in that character, there's a piece of yourself. So think about it. If we're locking these characters away, in a sense, we're also locking a part of ourselves away from yourself. Now, I'm not saying that conformity is not important. To a certain extent, it is. For instance, you have to act, talk, you know, have manners, have personalities, wear certain clothes, so that you're not ignored or perceived as rude by others. To a certain extent, we're all kind of participating in this movement towards conformity. You know, it's very tempting to wear the clothes your friends are wearing on Instagram, or eating the food that your favorite celebrities are eating on Snapchat. So, in a way, we're stuck in this position where we can't balance the relationship between conformity and individualism. So, we have to ask this question to ourselves: How do we balance it out? When I asked this question to myself, the first place I could think of was the drama black box. In this room, there were no social barriers. There was no sense of judgment. You can express any personality, any feelings, any emotions that you've kept to yourself. And for me, I would do this by playing different characters. You know, sometimes I would feel a little bit weird, then I'll play a weird character, kind of exude and express all these feelings that I've kept to myself amongst my family, amongst my friends. And this drama black box was, in a sense, like a back cave to me. A secret layer where I could show my secret identity. I could truly be who I was, 100%. You 
So here's my suggestion to all of you: Don't be scared to step into the black box. I know at first it's very intimidating. You feel embarrassed standing in front of an audience and expressing who you truly are inside. You know, in a sense, you also feel vulnerable. But once you get the hang of it, you realize that everyone in the room are there for the same purpose. They're here to explore parts of themselves that they cannot explore amongst their friends. They're here to know themselves better. They're here to kind of release all that anger, all that happiness, all that joy that usually you don't do amongst society. So step into the black box and fight conformity. Thank you.